angry guy here. And women will beg Tradwise to help them get a man. Women will beg trad wives to help them get a man. So guys, I was thinking about this recently. I saw a video from Soraya. And at the end of the video, she talked about helping women to bring out their inner woman, their inner, inner femininity, and to, to help teach them how to get a man, right? And she basically mentioned that, you know, women could reach out to her, you know, send her a message, and she'll work with them. And she had like a, such an interesting look on her face. And a lot of y'all said to me that it's never going to happen. These women are never going to do it. They are going to stay on their hill. And they will never, ever pay another woman to teach them how to get a man. And while I agree that most of them, 99% of them, may take this approach, it doesn't matter because there's still that 1%. There's still that 1% that will take this approach, that will turn around and say, you know what? This is where things are going right now. The only way to get a man is to offer men what the trad wives are offering men. What do these foreign, foreign women know? What do they know that we don't know? Because clearly, they have what men want. Men are rapidly leaving the country to go and find a woman to find a foreign woman. It's not that they're leaving because they simply can't get an American woman, can't get a woman from a Western country. They're leaving because they don't want to be in a relationship with someone from a Western country. They desire a foreign woman who is fit, feminine, friendly, who has the qualities that they are looking for. You have to understand that for most Western women, being feminine is not something they understand how to do because they were not raised as feminine women. They were raised in their masculine. So they don't know anything about femininity. Fit, feminine, friendly, they don't know anything about these things. They don't know how to be a woman in the sense like other women in the rest of the world. For example, if they go and sit down with a woman in another country and a woman in another country speaks to them, it doesn't take a genius to understand the things that this woman is going to tell her. For example, she's going to say, well, listen, first off, you need to adjust the way you speak. Men don't like masculine energy, so you need to change that. Men want a woman who is agreeable, who does not argue with them. Men want a woman that adds value into their life. A man doesn't need a woman to cook and clean for him. But those are ways that she can provide value into his life. A high-value man can basically have his food prepared for him. He can hire someone to do that, or he can prepare it himself and put it in the freezer. So why would he want a woman in his life that he's going to have to clothe feed, provide for in every way, give an easy life while he's out there grinding, and what does he get in return? High-value men don't want what modern-day women are offering. And the thing is that an average man in the United States is a high-value man overseas. That's the thing about it. And modern day women will no longer have access to these men anymore because these men are walking away from Western society, relationships in Western society, and going overseas to start new lives. If they want a family, if they want to have children, if they want a relationship, they're not going to do it in Western society anymore. And you're going to watch as some women begin to beg the trad wives to help them, to teach them, how to get a man. And they're going to have to spend thousands of dollars doing this. You know, guys, for example, do you know how much it costs to have a financial planner? A financial planner, an accountant, typically costs around $500 a month. $500 a month. And it can cost a personal accountant, personal financial planner that oversees all of your 
all of your operations, keeps track of your business, your personal, like your personal finances, everything. To have a, fi a financial planner work with your financial advisor, it's about five hundred dollars a month, and it could be more, and it could be much more than that, depending. And I want you guys to understand that that's how it's going to work with a lot of these women. They're going to have to be on a subscription plan, and it's going to be a process where they're going to have to learn how to do these things, how to carry themselves, because it does not come natural to them. And the, the thing is that some of these women might succeed in finding a guy, but the moment they start acting up, it's going to be over because these dudes are just going to say, yep, I'm gone. I was foolish to even trust you. I'm gone. A lot of these women will not be able to even keep a relationship, an active relationship, because the men no longer want to be there. It's going to be extremely hard to attract a man. Guys, I've already said it, that there's nothing left in Western society anymore. Only fools are jumping into relationships right now. Only fools. It's funny because, you know, we say only fools and lonely fans. So, it's it, I mean, it goes hand in hand. Only fools are jumping into relationships right now. No man with any sense of reason and rationality is getting married, having children, jumping into a relationship, dating, even cohabitating in spaces where there are people who can accuse them of looking at them funny. It's really over. And Western women, if they want a man, they're going to have to travel. They will have to travel to other countries. First off, they're going to have to rebuild themselves. They're going to have to change themselves. A lot of them may have to change their names. For example, someone like Brittany Renner, who has a reputation, a, a serious reputation, and she doesn't care. She says that she deserves a high value man and it doesn't matter. She has a body count like over 100. Like she, she said 35, that multiplied by three. So that's like 135. And you have to remember that, that you know, she doesn't even count the guys that weren't celebrities. So it's really more like 300 or more. Someone like that would have to go through an entire rehabilitation process, entire rehabilitation process to learn how to carry herself, how to change the way she speaks, learning self-control. It'd be, it'd be a massive endeavor. She would have to delete her social media accounts, which is something she wouldn't want to do. And the thing is that these girls, these women, they will always go back to what they know. Whenever times get tough, they will always go back to Insta. They will always go back to only fools. They will only they will always go back to these platforms. And it's pretty unfortunate, but that's the reality of it. So she would have to, a lot of these women, they'll have to delete their instas. They'll have and, and it's gonna be literally like pulling teeth with them because that's something that they've built over the years so that they can connect with their sims. So whenever if they're ever in a hard time, they can you know turn to these sims who are not really there for them. So the insta would have to go bye-bye. Their only fools would have to go bye bye. They would have it would be a process of removing as much of their identity from the internet. Many of them would have to change their names. You heard me right. They would have to change their names. Some of them may like Brittany Renner. She'd have to change her name. She'd have to change her name. And then the craziest part about that is that we're just talking about the women who are in their 20s still, because a lot of these women have, have done a lot of damage as a result of being on these platforms, on OnlyFools. They sold their futures for instant gratification in the present. So I'm talking about those women. I'm talking about younger women who are still in their 20s that can attract the man overseas in a country like Japan or South Korea or, or, or maybe even East Asia. Somewhere, it's, it's again, or even, or even Africa. You know, South Africa, for example, they're going to have to go places where no one knows them. That's really what it's going to be. They're going to have to change your names because they're not going to be able to find a guy in Western society. A lot of these women will not be able to find a guy in Western society. They'll have to travel to other countries. They'll have to travel even outside of Western society to find someone that wants to be in a relationship with them. And for older women, women who are in their 40s and 50s, it's over. Because why would a man in his 40s or 50s date a woman who's in her 40s or 50s after he's worked his entire life so that he can find someone who will allow him to have children with them that has good energy, that's fit, feminine, friendly, and still has their youth intact and is not going to nag him? 
And the thing is, when most of these women get into a relationship, you know, they can learn to cook, they can learn to clean, they can try to, they can try to emulate and pretend to be feminine. But as soon as they get married, they're gonna let themselves go. And even before they get married, a lot of them will slip up because they'll get comfortable and they'll stop doing the things for the man that attracted him to them. And then it'll be over. You know, I know I read a story about this guy. You know, he asked the question on Kiora. He said that his girlfriend, they were in a relationship. And when he first met her, she used to give him, you know, really good mouth, you know, you know, she used to really polish the lollipop. And after they got engaged, she stopped doing it. And she told him that, you know, she's not doing it anymore. And when he asked why, she basically told him that he tricked her, that she tricked him. But he was stuck with her now. And like a simp, he basically, you know, asked about it on Kiora. And like, you know, what should I do? He's like, I really love her. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. And people, some people straight up told him on there, like, bro, she tricked you. She even told you she straight up tricked you. She baited you. And now that she's trapped you, it's a very bad omen for marriage. Like, you should not get married to her because she got you. She got uncomfortable. She got you invested. And this is what you can expect from the relationship. Like, you forget about her polishing the lollipop. You're not going to be seeing the vertical slide anymore. Like, that's that's re that's really it. That's really it. Need to wake up and realize that nothing lasts forever. And it's time to walk away. And you're going to see that these women, these women will beg trad wives to help them get a man. I want to know your thoughts on this in the comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We'll talk about it more there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.